This is my top five list of obscure artists you may have never heard of. And at number five is a guy named James Lake. Look at these sculptures, guys, with um, cardboard. He is a cardboard uh, artist, and he makes sculptures. And just the sheer scale of these is amazing. Um, check him out. Um, there he is using the heat gun. And it's a lot of work. I mean, that's you got to like build it from the ground up. And um, there you go. It's like just like bones, like the structure of a face. Pretty crazy. Um, very realistic. Um, amazing. I mean, you got to have a lot of patience for this stuff. And uh, with that found with that material of cardboard, which is everywhere, what a great way to repurpose it. And uh, speaking of repurposing, is our artist at number four, uh, Bongini Bruzelli. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is a guy from South Africa who uses discarded plastic bags. How about that? Look at this guy. Look at his artwork. Holy cow. Stuff people are just throwing away. He searches. Look at him. He's collecting his material is is garbage literally stuff that people have thrown away unbelievable and the fact that he finds the right colors because finding the right colors of this is uh difficult i believe like the blues and the reds and i believe he uses a heat gun um a heat gun to, to actually melt the plastic and to mold it the way he wants and into these portraits and i think it's there he is using the heat gun. See it melting, basically liquefying that plastic. Pretty amazing. I, I, I was really uh, struck by this. Uh, very impressive. Um, with that material of using found material. Uh, shout out to him in South Africa. <laughs> He's killing it. So you've probably never heard of this guy. So go check him out. Next up is a guy named Jed Lakeness, I believe. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Jed uh, is a tattoo artist. He, he was a tattoo artist from uh, Wisconsin, I believe, and did a lot of heavy metal artwork. Um, I believe you can see a few of these uh, pa of his paintings on YouTube in oils, and oil paint. And I sped up the video here just to kind of get through it. Uh, he did a lot of heavy metal stuff. Um, really influential in, in my work and, and kind of just exploring... Um, portraiture and skulls and things of that nature and just look how what a painting can turn into I mean just how deep set those eyes are and, and the bridge of that skull that nose it's just amazing uh, unfortunately I don't think Jed is with us anymore I think he passed away uh, so go check out his artwork um might be hard to find online. You got to poke around Jed Lakeness. I believe it's L E I K N E S. And brings me to our number two. Okay, guys, and we here you go. To number two here on the top five list of obscure artists you may have never heard of. Um, this is an artist from Poland, I believe. Sanok, Poland. Got some forewords here about his art from a movie director, famous movie director, Another artist, and a very well-known artist that I did a video on H.R. Giger. He says, Baczynski's powerfully unique paintings are such as I have never before seen. And I will attest to that. You have never seen anything like this. Maybe he is well-known. Um, he is in the surrealist community, but probably not in the regular art community. I'm not sure how to say his first name, but I believe his last name is Beczynski or Beczynski. I think it's Beczynski because it's a Polish name. His first name is, uh, Z. <laughs> it begins with a Z. Uh, and there he is here in 1996. Um, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Beczynski was murdered in his own apartment for um, some money, unfortunately. 
Uh, this deserves a lot of credit here, so that's why I, I'm doing it book style rather than screen grab style. So his name is, uh, I don't know, if you, if you anybody knows how to pronounce that, uh, Zislaw Pachinski. So he was murdered in 2005, unfortunately. Um, he started out as a um, industrial designer, but he was a bus manufacturer and a construction guy. And he was like so fed up with his construction job, you know. Um, he just said, I'm going to be an artist no matter what it takes. And this guy was driven and uh, lived through the war, I believe. So some of his stuff has like remnants of the war in it. As you will see, his drawings are crazy, but the paintings, I mean unbelievable I, I just words just uh can't describe this a lot of crucifixions in here look at the rock i mean it, it's unbelievable um again you may have heard of him you may have not heard of him look at the metal and the twisted torn like what is going on here it's just i love um artwork that brings mystery it says he is obsessed with the process of creation let me get to some of my favorites here um, there's some videos of him on YouTube check it out and they're all translated from Polish to English like here what is going on with these lights in the background like who is living here that's what drives me nuts I love this one, the wind. You can just feel the energy in the wind blowing these papers. Look at these papers being blown around like this castle. And there's fire burning in the back. What is going on here in the green sky? Totally amazing. Um, it's one of my favorites here. Look at this guy. Like just welded to the concrete structure. And this face here is very obscure. A very weird profile. What is going on here? This guy with no eyes. I mean, God. Just love this stuff. Um, that's probably my favorite one in here. This one here, I, I see something new each time I look at this. This guy here, that's his ear looking uh, from a side view. And it's like, I don't know if this is blood or what coming down here. Just totally amazing. This deserves a whole video in and of itself. Um this i love this this is, looks like a church or something with a little highlight little glass like stained glass up there look at that glass on there so this is um i mean then look at this style look how much more clean this is look at the fabric and in and, and here the crows feeding on this carcass and the blood and then another guy chained here and another deceased guy here this character uh, here is like remnants of the war it reminds me of so this is uh my number two this is crazy um just the the crowdedness of all these people in this room i mean so this is uh Baczynski, the polish artist i love this is my favorite i'm sorry I, everyone's my favorite this this burned out car has become part of the landscape it's amazing this is horrifying. Look at that face. Oh my god, it's just horrifying. It's just... Hey, this guy is amazing. Um, anyway, he was way ahead of his time. Even got into 3D art with a computer back in the 80s. He experimented with it. So, okay. On to the next number one obscure artist. This, this should be the number one. <laughs> but, uh... That is uh, Baczynski. And number one is me, Mark Brennan, a.k.a. Cartoon Mark. Come on, did you think I wasn't going to use this YouTube platform for my advantage? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, being that this is my channel, I can make myself number one. Here's some of my paintings. I hope you like them. Um, a lot of times I'm a cartoonist by day. Uh, 
you, you know, uh, caricature artist, cartoonist for events. But in my free time, I love painting and it's more of a release for me. Um, I've also been known to put paintings in the streets and a lot of these have been put in the streets. You can see my videos about that. And um, I use acrylic paint and I just paint what comes to me and I really love it. And I want to just uh, thank you for looking at this video. Thank you for looking at my paintings here. Uh, just my quick collection. There's many, many more. I just screen grabbed what I could here. And um, I've actually gotten a few phone calls about people who've kind of looked me up when they found my paintings in the street, which is kind of cool. All right. Um, thanks, guys. This is Cartoon Mark with the top five obscure artist you may have never heard of thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it